the next step here between China and the United States in terms of this trade war out here on this world stage would be to shift this into a currency war, so to speak. And it's already kind of happening in terms of the devaluation of the different currencies, the U.S. dollar feeling the effect, and also the Chinese currency now tumbling. But some of the officials coming out of China are stating that they have tremendous room to operate with here if they had to make certain moves. That's a pretty bold statement. They're pretty much, they're saying that they can take a lot of whatever's going to be thrown at them, they can maneuver around, and it will not affect them as bad. Now, all in all, they're saying that you can expect the dollar to draw back some as well in this. And if it continues to go back and forth, they could slowly start to drive one another down. Now, we have this big summit that's coming up in Japan. And it's expected that Xi Jinping and Donald Trump are going to do some talking at this event at some point. And we'll see what comes of all those talks in terms of trade war, how it affects the economy, and also our currencies out here. Usually the only way they can bypass this is by some kind of stimulus or doing something of that nature to try to reverse the effects here. But with tariffs ongoing and now affecting more countries globally, this is becoming widespread with the tariff thing. So it's forcing countries to go to other countries and rely on them for resources that they were not relying on before. This in turn is milking those countries out in the countries that depended on that country for all those resources. They're having to try to look elsewhere. So all in all, it all comes back around. And in this currency battle, it's weakening multiple currencies at the moment. Still waiting to see when the hammer is going to drop on China for all the intellectual property right theft that's happened big time. And what I mean by that is we've had farmers and also business owners stepping up and coming to Trump complaining that they don't want a government handout. They don't want a check from the government. They want to be able to do business as usual. And in terms of the businesses, the guys that are making things, they're arguing that Trump has to stop China from knocking off their item and shipping it all the way around the world and still selling it cheaper than what they can make it for and they're still making a profit. They're like, that's got to stop. That's part of this whole problem. I'm going to leave a link here. Make sure to join us every Friday night for Underground World News Live. 8 p.m. tonight. It's going to shift to 9 p.m. here in the next couple weeks. Also, make sure to join us over here on D Live. We're going to be taking calls over here exclusively. I can now upload videos over here because I'm verified. So things are shifting and going to start uploading more and more videos on DLive. So make sure you follow me over here as well. Links in the description box.